So with me this morning is Dr. J.P. Narain, who is Senior Advisor to the recently launched Epidemiology and EIS Training Program here at the National Center for Disease Control on behalf of the Government of India. So I'd like to ask you, Dr. Narain, with the launch today of this EIS-like program, what is your vision for this current cohort, this group of eight students that have just started off in this applied epidemiology training? Well, uh, the, one of the most critical gap or the need in most of the developing countries, including India, is uh, lack of evidence or lack of data that can be used for program planning, strategy development, and policy formulation, and also for advocacy. And uh, this uh, EIS training course, which is a unique uh, specialized training in epidemiology uh, that we are launching this year. And uh, my expectation is that the EIS training, through this EIS training, we'll be able to uh, develop a big cadre of uh, high quality epidemiologists who will be able to help in developing this evidence that can be used for program purposes. And uh, the, the vision would be that uh, while we are starting now, taking a few candidates and try to ensure the quality of the training uh, as one of the most critical component. And uh, the vision is that in due course of time, in the next five to ten years, we will be able to develop enough high quality epidemiologists who can then be uh, using epidemiology at a district level. So have one EIS officer in each of 620 districts in India. And they will be in that, uh, because districts are a very important administrative unit for implementation in India. And have this capacity at the district level, not only to generate data, but also use their data for program planning and strategy at the most peripheral level. And this will go a long way in uh, carrying out programs that uh, would not only strengthen the public health programs, at the same time also this will help uh, create uh, the healthy healthy India and uh, due course of time, because I think one of the most critical area also to understand is that uh, large global burden or disease lies here in India. And the evidence that need to be developed and applied, this has to emanate and be used in India within the country itself. And uh, I believe that EIS course will go a long way in fulfilling this gap and, uh, and also achieve this mission of having an EIS officer or a high quality epidemiologist in every district in India.